the man with the hat and the video camera Making videos for you cause he's a YouTube creator Always filming and editing scenes Ready to watch on all your screens New videos every week so please subscribe Well, I've been invited out by Paul today to join him on his new permission. We also know from the first 15 minutes of, of detecting here, just for a test, that it's full of cans law. So um, I expect we're going to find a lot of that because pieces of tin do sound good. You've got to dig them. Anyway, let's see what we can find. Now, Paul has just told me that a Roman road goes through here apparently, but we haven't got maps off the landowner. so. And uh, there is a uh, a lead pheasant, or well, half of one anyway. Looks like a pheasant to me. Could be a partridge, maybe. It's a little bit trashy just here, but the ultimate will just give you that. Well, that's an obvious signal, showing 65, 67. So whilst I don't want to make a too long a video show me digging all the holes let's just dig this one out and see what it is that's marked I'll dig it well sadly that was just a piece of tin never mind put that in my bag now you'll notice today that I'm wearing some different headphones and it's got a lead on with a volume control sometimes just lifting that volume up helps a great deal when you're listening for the tiny little whispers the little lifts in the signal so I decided now I've got some of these I would just experiment with it and it worked quite well the first 10 minutes after you've used the other headphones takes a little bit getting used to but after five ten minutes you're in your ear gets in and you're okay now the way you make that work is uh, you simply have to purchase quite cheaply this horseshoe clip then all you do is you get the WS4 headphones and just gently with one smooth movement just put your hand onto the earpiece and slide in one direction and it comes away. All you then do is to put the clip onto the back of the WS4, put it in a pouch around your neck and you can then plug the headphones into the little 3.5mm jack and wear it around your neck or in your pocket or whatever you want to do. So it's simple as that. You can get these from anywhere. I get mine from Leisure Promotions. Don't forget to say that the man with the hat sent you along because he does give a referral commission which is then donated through into my charity account. So let's get ticking so we can find any more. Well, we've been getting lots of signals but both Paul and myself are just amazed but how much can slaw there is on here. Probably a children's playing area and then the mower goes over to cut the grass for silage and just chops it into pieces and the cows tread it into the soil. But this one, this one sounds good. And just in case it is, I wanted to turn the camera on. But don't be surprised if it's a piece of tin. Hang on, what's this? Well, it's not a piece of can slaw, but uh, it's nothing much. Never mind. Keep on going. Now, this is Paul <laughs> on our brand new permission. Sorry, what am I saying? His brand new permission. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a guest here. And uh, he's just found a pewter spoon, probably around about George III period, something like that. So, but there is a lot of crap on here, isn't there, mate? There is, yeah. You don't have to stir it. <laughs> well, you have got a nice little river going down the side here, so there might be something along this edge here. You never know. Good luck. Cheers. Now, I've turned my remote control box on to volume so you can hear it. But simply because, I just want to show you something. This land is full of signals. It's a bit like... Um, green waste been spread on arable land 
this has had so many tin cans chopped up by the mower um, for silage and then just been pushed into the ground. You get signals everywhere. But then, whilst you're doubting you're missing signals because of all that noise, you get one big lift, the obvious one. And that's showing eighty. So I'm gonna do a dig on that and see what it is. Now it might not be any good. These do sound like silver coins, don't they? The dreaded cow tube again. But it was a good signal and one of the obvious ones which take care of themselves. But I'm happy with that because it was the right tone and I should have dug it and I did. It could have been something nicer though. Well, we've just moved to another field that Paul, come here Paul, that Paul has just been to see his uh, landowner and uh, you keep looking that hole, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what you found, what you found? And uh, we tried to find his keys for him on the field just over there, but it's so full of trash and it's not been grazed. There's no fence or anything. So it's just been left to grow like three feet tall and then die back a bit in the autumn. I'm going to let Paul now look in my hole. I've just dug it. First signal. Hole. Yeah, first signal. And uh, have a look, Paul. I've had a look <sighs> and I've got taken it out because it's absolutely lovely. It's silver. Oh wow. Look at that. It's a pocket watch fob. Now, there should be a hallmark on it somewhere, so I've not looked at it closely, yeah. I've just, just seen it's, it in the hole. Yeah, it's just uh, some writing on it. Oh yeah, there's a hallmark there, look. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That came up beautiful. <laughs> well done. Well done, mate. Well done. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, brilliant. And it's still got some chain I in it. I don't mind that yet, though. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Wow, so I'm really pleased with that. Look at that. See how close I can get. Isn't that lovely? And just check the back. There's the hallmark. You're probably better to see that clearer than me at the moment. I'll get that identified later. Woohoo! Happy with that. Come on! There's a very obvious signal. It's showing 82. Okay, this marked that and did my first live dig. Very nice clean sound in both directions. Hopefully it'll be something nice. But is it in the hole or the plug? Plug. And it's not a very deep plug. Here we go. Oh, it's only a button. That's a fairly big one. And I think it was probably, I'm not sure if it was gilded or not, but just a button this time. Never mind, it's still a target. Well, I think I beat him now. I've got a lovely Victorian silver coin. I've not seen the date on that yet. You've seen it at the same time as I have. All I've done is given it a quick rub. Turned it over and now we'll see if we can find a date on it. Um, it might need a clean. Oh, hang on, I might better see it through there. 1893? Yeah, I think it says 1893. So, two bits of silver today. Happy. Well, this one's 73. It's one of the obvious signals. Couldn't miss this one. Not totally confident on this one, but it sounds good. So, got to dig it. You know, it was six degrees this afternoon when I came out. And it's actually getting warmer. Seven degrees. But it feels warmer because there's no wind, which is great. I don't think Paul's found anything yet with any silver content. In a plug. Top of the plug. 
they didn't have dug a hole at all. <clears throat> now then. Just a piece of pewter, that's all. It was a decent signal though, but I wasn't totally confident on it. Well, there's certainly some lovely views where we are today. Not far from the main roads either, but far enough away that it doesn't really matter. And we've still got quite a lot here to cover. Well, Paul's not having much luck, so he suggested that we go to another field and try our luck there. It's only got an hour left. At least we'll then know where the three fields are. And I've just found that piece of lead and it's almost white lead with those markings on and I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before so I'll try and keep that for some ID. Right we're in our third field sadly there's big pylons all the way over the top of us in fact as long as the field goes there's a pylon through it anyway got my first hole here let's see what's in it thousands of Canada geese on this field still in the hole Alright, it's not far away. What's this? Oh, it's a buckle and it's still got his leather on. That's not going to be too old. A D buckle. 17, 1800s, 1800s more than likely. So, as a start anyway. Well, we're nearly now at the end of our little session today. It's only a quick one. The video is only short. It's not really um, a dig and a video as such. It's a test. It's testing three different um, permissions, well, same landowner in different locations, just to get a feel for what there is here. Um, those two pieces of silver, fantastic little pocket watch fob. It's only my second one. Um, here's the picture of it again, all cleaned up. And the hallmark and the Vicky Sixpence too. I've just dug up what I believe is a rather large pen knife. I'm finding loads of those just lately. Usually small ones, but I reckon that's what it is. Um, sorry, I've got everything's in the same pocket. Yeah, junk, I've got junk loads and of lead in mine. Huge pieces of lead in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, the khakis. Um, Oh, got some better than that, so. Oh, you didn't see that, did you? What's that? That it's is as light as a feather. That is. Oh. Where someone has got very upset at that golf course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably just yeah, we're next to the golf course, so they probably just took a swipe with their driver or whatever and it smashed. Yeah. The thimble. Oh yeah. I've not found any thimbles today. Oh. The old pewter spoon. Yeah. Well you have got a lot of junk haven't you? A loads of junk, yeah. I had a clue what lies. There's a, a George. Yeah. 1912. Right, so that's it for us today. We've just been exploring, as I said, the three little pastures on Paul's new permission. Thank you for bringing me along, Paul. You're very welcome. And uh, it's been great for me because I found a couple of nice bits of silver. <laughs> 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 and um, if you've seen anything at all that you like on the video, then by all means, put your thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like anything, then put your thumbs down. Some will anyway. Um, but you know, more important than that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Especially as I'm going to be giving away loads more of my wall chart posters so you can identify your coins by looking at the poster on your wall. So I'll catch you soon. Steven is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh, walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh, metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so 